Today we are going to see the 72nd Shloka of Vishnu Sasvanamam recitation and word by word meaning. Mahakramu Mahakarma Mahateja Mahoragaha Mahakratur Mahayajwa Mahayaknyo Mahahavihi Mahakramu Mahakarma Mahateja Mahuragaha Mahakratur Mahayajwa Mahayaknyo Mahahavihi Mahakramu Mahakarma Mahateja Mahuragaha Mahakratur Mahayajwa Mahayaknyo Mahahavihi now let's see the word by word meaning. Maha kramo. Kramam means in a proper way. Maha means great. Maha krama means of great step, of great way of doing something. That means Bhagavan has taken the Vamana incarnation where he measured three worlds with his three steps. So, Bhagavan has a great way of telling people that even if we think that something is small, the result will be tremendous. That's why we always say that even if it is a small step, we should always think before we do. We should be uh, very much thoughtful in doing every action because the result will be something that is beyond what we can expect. That's why Bhagavan has the name Mahakrama. Mahakarma. Karma means deed, task. Maha means great. So, Mahakarma means Bhagavan is, has the power to do or perform great deeds in a very simple way. That means we always know, uh, know that there are different ways to do a certain thing. But we should use our inter intelligence to use it in a way that less uh, work and less amount of energy to finish that task. So, we always should use our knowledge as well as we you should use the tool of truth to do any task. And Bhagavan also tells us that whatever we love in doing, automatically we will find a way to finish it in a good way. So, that's why Bhagavan has the name Mahakarma. Mahateja. Teja means the way you look, the uh, resplendence or the glory or the attraction. Maha means great. Maha Teja means Bhagavan has the greatest glorification that he can um, reflect his light to any other creation. Like the sun, the moon, the stars, everything is glowing because of the light that the Bhagavan is giving them. So, Bhagavan is the light of all the lights. He is the source of light. Bhagavan is illuminating the world with lots of positiveness, with lot of life, with lot of task, with lot of dharma, with lot of goodness, with lot of truth. The only thing we have to just maintain it and follow it. That's why Bhagavan has the name Mahateja. Mahuragaha. Raga means serpent. Maha means great. Bhagavan is the great serpent. Or serpent is also known as the Nagas that we know. And we can see that the greatest of the Nagas is the Ananta Bhagavan. So, Bhagavan will be taking rest on the Ananta at all the time in the Vaikuntha. So, Bhagavan is 
considering himself as all the incarnation and one of the incarnation is Ananta. So, Bhagavan will protect everybody from whatever poison they have. The only way to take out the poison uh, is by the snake taking its poison from where it did that uh, bite. So, in the same way, Bhagavan will make us understand what our mistake is and make us uh, realize it and never do it again, do the mistake again. So, that's how he is teaching us. So, that's why Bhagavan has the name Maharagaha. Mahakratur. Kratur means sacrifice. Maha means great. Maha Kratur means Bhagavan is considered to be the greatest sacrifice that any person can think of. He can just sacrifice few seconds every day by thinking of Bhagavan. That itself is a biggest thing for Bhagavan. The total sacrifice of the ego, that self-thinking factor, that will become oneself uh, to raise beyond the levels. Though the main, main uh, sacrifice will come when we think that there is one another power that is above us. There is someone who is looking after us. There is someone who is watching us. There is someone who is taking care of all the actions. They, they are looking our actions, deeds, everything. So that will make us focus and do the right things. So, if we think that someone is watching us, then we will be at our best in everything. So, that's why Bhagavan has the name Mahakratur. Mahayajwa. Mahayajwa means the different yaknas that we are doing. And Maha means great. Mahayajwa means the uh, one Bhagavan is the one power who is performed the greatest yaknas. He has taken different incarnations to protect the dharma. So one of the incarnation is the Rama where he has made a yakna called the Ashwamedha Yaga where Bhagavan has graced himself with the sacrifice and which had done successfully and faithfully and that is called Yajwa, that uh, uh, power, the one who is performing the sacrifice properly and faithfully and which ends in a very good way is called Yajwa. So, Bhagavan has done in that uh, incarnation of Rama. That's why his name is Mahayajwa. Mahayaknya. Yaknya means something that we are doing as a dedication. Maha means great. Maha yaknya means the greatest yakna that anyone can do is the Bhagavan uh, who has done lot of jabas. Bhagavan has done with all his grace in such a way that he is gained the power to give ashirvadams or blessings to any devotees with whatever they ask for. The jaba will be always glorifying the Bhagavan. That means whenever we do jabas, we, our thoughts will be focused only in that mantras. That divinity will always um, make us think divine, to act divine. And we will have that purification of mind when we do or take part in any yakna. So the yaknas has to take place in such a way that the uh, all the people who is taking part and doing it should have a Full dedication. So that's why Bhagavan has the name Mahayaknya. Mahahavihi. Havihi means the offering. Maha means great. Mahahavihi means the greatest offering. So Bhagavan is considered to be the uh, great, uh, sacred fire where we all offer to him because the fire is considered to be the purest form where we can offer things. So, uh, we always do the offering in different, different way. 
before the holy we have that function where we put all the old things and uh, it is an indication that whatever our mind has done the mistake we are putting that on the fire in to get purified in such a way that we think of the mistake and we never repeat it so in the way every day we are having that offering in our mind every day in the morning once we wake up we should have a feeling so fresh that okay today i should make a very little mistake or no mistake and by the end of the day we should at least take some moments to think that what i have had happened the whole day and what all mistake that i had committed even if it is by annoying or unknowing we should have a just a justification to what we had done and if we had done any mistake we should admit it and say that okay let's not repeat it let's not uh, let's try to improve ourselves every day so each day will be a lesson to us each day we are trying to get purified that's why bhagwan has the name maha habihi maha karkramo maha karma maha teja maho ragaha maha kratur maha yajwa maha yajno maha habihi maha kramo maha karma maha teja maho ragaha maha kratur maha yajwa maha yatnyo maha kavihi maha kramo maha karma maha teja maho ragaha maha kratur maha yajwa maha yatnyo maha kavihi thank you